So I ordered a new chain for my custom CB750, working on the fact that it was a 1978 Honda CB750 and it didn't fit when I got it because I hadn't bothered to measure anything and somebody has fitted a new sprocket on the back. It wasn't me, but the chain that's supposed to fit a Honda CB750 doesn't fit, which led me to create this video as to how to uh, work out what all those numbers mean when you're ordering a chain. What is a 520 and a 630 and a whatever? Uh, the chain, yeah, lovely, blue, sexy. Hmm. Better just try that, make sure it's the right fit and everything. Well, it looks pretty, but it doesn't fit. It's the wrong fucking gap between the teeth, uh, despite it being Honda CB 750 friendly. Uh, so obviously this bloody sprocket is different. Yes, it turns out there's more to these chains than meets the eye. Um, although actually, it, if you look at it carefully, it does meet the eye. That's clearly a lot bigger. Um, yeah, never had this problem before. I guess I just got lucky. So here's how to measure a chain and work out what you need. First of all, one of these fancy uh, electronic jobs is not going to help much because even when it's set to inches, which it is now, it does it in decimals as opposed to fractions. So we're going to revert to our old cranky old met, uh, metric, imperial, um, analog system. So the first measurement you're going to need is between the pins. And this is the first number in the chain spec. So get it roughly in the middle and you'll see that that there is six eighths. Most chains, like these two, off the Yamaha and the MV, are five sixteenths. So most chain sizes start with a five, but that's your first number in the chain reference. This is a big ass chain, so it's a six. And sixes are generally six thirties. Now, how do we get to a 30? Hmm. Good question. That equates to about 0.8 of an inch. Or 20 millimetres, if you're using one of these fancy boys. So that's the six. And five eighths is about 14 mil. Uh, you can look it up. Or 0.55 of an inch. So the next part makes no sense whatsoever to me, but apparently it involves a sixteenth of an inch. Hmm. Thankfully we don't get down to 30 seconds or 60 fourths. So going back to our big ass Honda chain, the next thing to do is to measure the gap in between here. As I say, for a 630, it's kind of irrelevant because it's basically going to be a 630. Um, but we're looking in sixteenths and and the key to this all appears to be, now if it's over 5 sixteenths, it's a 30. If we were measuring a 5 chain and it was under 5 sixteenths, then it would be a 520 or a 522. But if it's 5 sixteenths, it will be a 525, which is kind of your standard chain, honestly. And that's where I got lucky in the past because I never bothered measuring. Yeah, then, of course, there's the old question, how many links do you need? Well, yeah, um, you have to count them, I'm afraid. So the, the easy thing to do is just count the big ones and then double it. Yeah. Work out how much slack you add in the chain in the first place as to whether you want to have a few less or a few more. Err on the side of a caution and add a few just to be safe, I would say, uh, unless you're very confident, because uh, you can always chop a couple out if you need to. So, if this was remotely interesting, uh, helpful, or entertaining, give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe down there, I think, or here. And um, there's plenty more videos that are way more interesting than this on my channel, so um, check it out. Yes, I have episodes. I had a big episode when I decided to start doing this. Encourage others to watch my lunacy.